Hey beauty cuties, so today I'm about to do a video um, of this tutorial um, of this eye right here. It's pretty matte, pretty basic, but I've worn it for the past couple of days. I've worn it to school. Um, I'm about to wear it today. I'm just kind of going out, you know. My hair's so wet, I just got out of the shower. Feels my hair natural. <laughs> this is great. Um, so anyways, um, I'm about to just I'm just going to Shoppers and um, to a store today. Um, that's like only where I live. I'm not gonna say what it is. Um, just a cute little store where you can get like, clothes and whatever. So, anyways, um, I'm just about to do a tutorial and um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy and it's really natural. And it looks like you're wearing minimal makeup. Like you know how like, those tutorials where it's like no makeup, makeup. Well, I don't understand why I would spend 20 minutes on my on putting on makeup to make it look like I'm wearing no makeup. You know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna spend time to put on makeup, I want to at least look like I'm wearing makeup. So anyways, I'm gonna get started right now. Okay. So this side's already done. So um this is like all matte and I never do matte so so shocker. I'm gonna take Painter Light Paint Bot from MAC and just apply that as a base on my eyelids. All the way up to my brow. And apply a little bit more if you've got veining on your eyelids, you can really see. Put a little bit extra there so you really just have a blank canvas. Okay, so that's that. Thanks to Andrea, who bought to me for my birthday, and I am absolutely in love with it. Um, yeah. Um, then I'm going to take this A1 palette. Yep, there you go. You can see it. Um, and this one is called Earth Tone. True Tone. We're going to take this light shade right here. That's the only matte shade. And it's like, um, almost like brulee a little bit. I'm going to take this just big general shader brush that I'm going to use a lot in it. It's just, just like that. It's like that. So I'm going to take that, and this is just a look that almost every guru has on their channel, um, but a lot of times they're shimmery, and that's not the look I want. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lid, and kind of avoiding my crease area. I'm hoping I'll bring a tutorial for this color because it's really nice. Oh, look. Look at the mirror. Okay. Right. Anyways, I'm hoping I'm doing a tutorial for this palette. Um, then I'm going to take from this MAC Holiday Collection palette from last year. Um, I'm not sure if these colors that are in it are limited edition or not, but yeah. Anyway, since these six colors, honestly, it's so hard to um, tell you what why because they're just like labeled like not really very well. I'm just trying to think. Like, like I don't know. Anyway, so there's these colors. I'm just gonna take this brown one right here. I'm going to apply it to my crease. It's matte. Or it's a VP. I don't know. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. No. No. Not yet. Not yet. I'll take that off your brush. I'll do that. I'm going to take this matte, um, like light pink kind of color. I'm just going to apply this right in the middle of my lid. Like right on that ball. It just has a little bit of pink in the look. Anyway, now do the brown. Just take a little bit. Don't need a lot. And just pat it in your crease to start. Just right there in that peak crease right there. Then blend that out. Using that same brush.
You really want that blend to really nice, right? Then I am going to apply a brown eyeliner. This is a Estee Lauder R Five Pencil in Soft Smudge Brown. Um, you could use black, but because it's daytime, I don't want to use too harsh of a color. So line that as close as you can to your lashes. don't want to make it too harsh, like thick line. You just want your ass to look full. You just want like to be like intense. And I just want it to look very correct. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. Yeah. To curl my lashes. And before I apply mascara, I'm going to take this e.l.f. pigment. This is the only shimmer. Oh, wait, no. That's embarrassing. I didn't even have it yet. Then I'm just going to take this highlight in the MAC palette. It's like a goldy pink shimmery. Um, it might have a little bit of iridescent, like a pink iridescent. Great color. I take my big fluffy brush and pack that in. And apply like a good amount under your brow. You just want to have that nice little bit of hint of shimmer and that nice healthy natural shimmer. Any shimmery eyeshadow highlight color will do. In your corner. Then I am going to take this stiff brush, very thin, stiff, small. I'm going to dip it in the pigment elegant from. Elf, which is just this super shimmery kind of highlight pigment. It's like a pinky champagne color. I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line. Okay. okay, then I'm just going to take the Simply Simmons brush. It's just like tapered long brush. I'm just gonna blend that just with all that's for. The only reason I use that is just because it's really nice and tapered. This is number eight. I like this brush a lot. It's great for just a blend that this So I'll show you this one now. Just stuck in one spot the color is annoying. Very long. Okay, so I'm going to fix it and add more, right? So, yeah. Once you've done that, then you can apply mascara. I'm using my telescopic clean definition L'Oreal Paris mascara. Just apply a good coat of that. Don't forget your lower lashes. You want your lashes to definitely be noticeable. You can't notice them on camera, and that's really annoying because my eyelashes are always like, you can't see them on camera. If you need to sew on your brows, do that. Um, I don't pluck mine, so you can't see my brows. I lose them, so how I like them, so I need to fill them in. And I've also got pretty thick brows, so. Yeah. Then I need to grab my brush. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I don't know why. Ooh, I'm back and get that. And put some of this stuff away. Okay. Here I'm 
flesh. I'm actually not really feeling like putting on a lot of flesh. I'm just going to take I beam from Benefit and apply that. Oh. And apply some just on the apple of my cheek and then a little bit up here on my cheekbone. Put the on the other side. Press them on your apple. And then right directly up from that. Right there. Making almost like an obtuse angle kind of a look. Great. Nobody. I don't know, grade 7 or grade 6, I don't know. That was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> so I'm taking that, and I'm just going to take my finger, my ring, my middle finger, and just blend out the apple part. And then just take this and blend that up. This just gives you a really nice and dewy light pink color. give you a little bit of shimmer. Instead, I figured this out from Lisa Eldridge. Instead, because you know you want that little bit of shimmer on your nose, instead of putting it all the way down and you get that ugly shininess on your nose, you just put it right there on the bridge of your nose. It gives you a dewy finish, which is a cool thing. It gives you that nice look of what you're looking for with this ugly, that gross, shiny nose. Put a little bit on your forehead, two dots right about there. Just like combine just above your eyebrow, just to give you that look of when the light hits through the, through the sheen. And then right down here, two dots right down there. Down under your chin, on that line right there, because that'll just catch the light, but blend it up. Opposed to putting it right in front of your chin, because I'm not going to give that shiny look like your nose a little greasy, opposed to nice and dewy. That's the word I was looking for to describe that. Um, actually, I think I'm going to apply some off this beauty powder, too. I'm just going to take my, like, big face brush. I can't wake up with no time. This beauty powder, um, in Shell Pearl from the Liberty of London collection. I love this, like, so much. So nice. It's like just a gorgeous color. And it's so big. I love it. I wear it as a blush. I don't even powder so much. I'm just going to apply this a little bit on my cheeks. This is just going to give it a gold, nice sheen. And a little bit of a peachy color. Which is always good. Yeah. So I use this more as a blush opposed to like just a highlight because it's so big and it's pretty limited too. And it's I like that I got one that I love and it's a peachy tone and it's got a nice sheen to it and it's not like a matte kind of thing like most beauty powders are unfortunately. I'm just going to take this Clinique Berry Blush Lipstick which looks so super dark. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply this. It's not though. I've already got a like a prestige chapstick on that's got like a tint to it. Anyways, I'm just gonna highlight in the center of my lip. Mix all up. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more of a tint, like the lip, like the chapstick. 